Humans love to parent their pets. You may even think of your cat, your fur baby, and yourself their cat parent. You probably see them as a part of your family. But does your kitty really see you the same way? Do they know how much you love them and do they share that feeling? You may have been told by friends and family who don't share your love of cats that the answer is no. Our cats don't love us back, popular wisdom says. However devoted we may be as cat parents, our kitties only see us as a free meal ticket and an opportunity to sleep under a roof instead of out in the open. If a better offer came along, they'd be off like a shot, and if they could understand human speech, then they'd be utterly baffled by the idea that we view them as some kind of surrogate child. But is popular wisdom correct? In this video, we're going to look at five ways you can tell that your kitty views you as not only an important member of their social group, but like a surrogate mom or dad. But before we dive in, why not subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community for more information about how to understand your kitty? A little spy. Cats have a reputation for being clingy. Many cat parents find that their kitties will follow them around the house, joining them in various activities and poking their noses into everything. Your kitty may even try following you into the bathroom if you don't close the door to keep them out. They also might try to join you at work. Over lockdown especially, a lot of people found that their furry friends had a tendency to photobomb their Zoom meetings. Though to be fair, who doesn't enjoy when a cat appears in the background of a co-worker's video call? Some cat parents have found success in buying their cats toy laptops to play with. It can get irritating to have them trotting after you all the time like you're a mother duck, but it means that you've developed a special bond. Kittens rely on their mothers to keep them safe and teach them how to be cats. As such, they will often follow her around and watch what she does, copying her behavior to try and get the same results. To your cat, you are their mama cat now and so they follow you around and try to copy what you do, because they assume that since you're doing it, it must somehow be important. They don't understand why you insist on tapping away at your computer all day, but by God, they're going to do it too. Think of them like toddlers getting dressed up in their parents' clothes so they can play, pretend they're going to work with mom. Sometimes, imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. Talkative Kitty Although cats can make a variety of noises, including hisses, purrs, growls, and chirrups, meow is the noise that people most associate with them, in part because it's the one that cats are labeled with in kids' picture books. But did you know that meowing isn't actually a natural behavior for adult cats? When communicating with each other, Cats mostly just use body language and scent, and when they do use sound to communicate the sounds they make, are often too high-pitched for human ears to hear. So why is your kitty always meowing? Well, there is one scenario where a cat will meow at another cat, when they're a baby and they're trying to get the attention of their mama cat. Kittens start off meowing for communication. If you've ever been confronted by a litter of kittens, you'll notice that they tend to be quite squeaky. And then, as they grow older, begin to grow out of the meowing phase and resort to more adult forms of communication. But not with humans. Cats are intelligent animals and are especially good at picking up on patterns of behavior. It doesn't take long for them to notice that, although humans responded to them when they meowed as kittens, we don't respond to body language or scent in the same way. So your cat continues meowing at you for attention, just like they used to do with their mom. Massage Kneading, or making biscuits, is not always a cat parent's favorite way of receiving feline affection. This is the rhythmic treading motion that your cat makes against your skin when they're sitting in your lap, so-called because it looks like the movements of a baker kneading dough. Your kitty doesn't knead because they're trying to turn you into a loaf of bread, however. Nor, despite how it might feel when they do it with their claws out, have they mistaken you for an unusually mobile pincushion. In fact, your kitty is displaying a behavior that dates back to when they were a baby. Kittens will knead their mother's belly at feeding time, so as to trigger the milk flow. Your fur baby, to be clear, does not expect you to start producing milk when they do this. 
It's more of a soothing and bonding gesture. Think of it as the feline equivalent of a young child sucking their thumb to soothe themselves when they're upset. The behavior comes from the sucking reflex that babies are born with, which ensures that they know how to breastfeed. But the reason that they continue to do it after they are weaned is purely because they find it comforting. A kitty hello. Bunting is the phrase for that cute little head butt cats do into your hand or against your forehead if you hold it low down enough for them to reach. It's commonly done as a greeting, so you may notice them doing it more often when you come home from work. You'll also likely see them do it with other cats in the household, and maybe even other pets such as dogs. Bunting is your kitty's way of marking you with their scent. This scent isn't detectable to humans. Don't worry. You aren't going around smelling like cat all the time, but to your cat, it's a way to mark you as theirs. This isn't just about possession. Marking you with their scent marks you as a person who is safe for your cat. And in your cat's mind, you are scent marking them as well when you touch them. Think of it like exchanging friendship bracelets. Your cat uses smell as their primary sense, just like we use sight as ours. So while humans mark their friends with visible jewelry, Cats mark theirs with scent. Bunting is a behavior that starts off in the nest, between kittens, their litter mates, and their mama cat. It's very important that kittens familiarize themselves with the scents of their siblings and their mom, both because they need to know who they can trust, and because they need to be able to smell their way back to the nest if they wander too far away. When your cat shares scents with you, therefore, it's like they think of you as their mom and are making sure that the two of you have the same scent because you're part of the same family. Mutual help. Grooming for cats is an important social activity. If you have a short-haired cat who doesn't require regular brushing to keep their coat in shape, then you might be under the impression that you don't participate in this activity with your kitty at all. But in reality, you almost certainly do. Cats don't have hands and don't typically run their paws over each other's bodies. Instead, from your kitty's perspective, your peculiar human habit of running your hands over their fur is just your way of licking them clean. They might find it weird, but in fairness, the average human's head is all the way up in the sky from a cat's perspective, while our hands are right there. Our hands are what we use to carry things, just like cats use their mouths to carry things. Plus, human fingernails give the best back scratches, so it's worth it for your kitty to put up with the weirdness. But grooming somebody else in a cat's world isn't just about keeping them clean. Nor is it purely about the relaxation aspect, like the feline equivalent of a spa day. Rather, it's about the social hierarchy. Cats will groom other cats who they consider to be beneath them socially especially if they groom the top of the head, which you may notice is probably the place you tend to reach for when petting your cat. From your kitty's perspective, letting you do this without objecting is a sign that they consider you to be the top cat in this relationship and the head of your little family. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out this one on how your cat shows that they trust you?